This is a video on how to wire a metal halide high bay fixture or low bay fixture um, with a multi-tap or quad tap ballast. It's going to have a 120, a 208, a 240, and a 277 lead, which you're going to select from the junction box. First you want to make sure you disconnect the power from the fixture. There's several leads that come out of the fixture. This box is usually attached, and I'll show you where it's usually attached first. And usually some of the wires are tucked in, and it slides on, and then clips onto the end, and there's a screw that screws in this end. This is where your hook mount is going to be and you're going to wire a cable or whatever in there if you have a hook. Such as this. There's all sorts of wires coming out of here. The green is the ground, like usual. The white is the common, and it's actually marked as common on the wire. I know you probably can't see it from there. Um, and then you have all your power leads. You have, on this particular fixture, you want to make sure that uh, the wires are correct and, and marked appropriately on the black and green wire which may change from fixture to fixture you'll see on the wire itself it'll say I'm pretty sure this is the 120 but you gotta look real close and this one happens to be printed over it says 120 very fine print but you want to make sure you see the 120 lead that is if you have 120 power these are the only three you're going to hook up which is going to be your 120 hot your ground and your common wire. So, if not, this one's already capped off and this one actually happens to be set up for 277 as you can see there's a wire coming out. But you want to make sure that you have 277 service uh, when hooking it up. If you hook it up to a 120 and you have 277 the fixture is not going to come on. So, on the other leads here you're going to see the orange lead on this one. It's going to change on your fixture too. Is it 208? If you have 208 service, you're going to hook, and we're going to go through each and every one of these, you're going to hook up your, your ground, your common, and then your 208. Same thing. Now if you have 277, your, or actually let's do the 240. So this one on this one is a purple. It's also printed on the wire, 240. And if you're hooking this up to 240, you're going to go with the same thing. Ground, common, which is your white, and 240, which is your purple. So, now the last one that you're going to have to wire is going to be a 277. Most industrial buildings are either 120 or 277. It's very uncommon for it to be 208 or 240, but this fixture allows it to tap at that. So what you're going to do with this one is it's already already stripped. So on the wire it says 277. So you're going to have your ground, your common, and your 277 wired direct. The rest of these wires are going to be as these are, capped off and tucked back in here. So now all you've got is the three out. And you're going to hook that up to your common on your wire, your ground, and your 277 lead coming from your power. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us here at Warehouse Lighting. Direct phone number is 414-525-9027. This is how to hook up a high bay or a low bay. Remember, this drawer is removable. You can tuck the leads back into the fixture inside, and you're good to go. You also want to make sure when lighting up your fixtures that you're using the correct bulbs.
This one happens to be pink. It's using a pink protected socket bulb. There's also white that's non-protected. Um, and you can sometimes tell in these, you'll see inside the socket that the little nipple will go directly into that crevice. So on a protected bulb, it just means that basically if it blows up, it's not going to shatter glass you know, down on you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for uh, checking us out.